uh, apartment door and be able to get something to eat and then we come and head to work. Because we need to be on our bike. I'd go no. What, what, what? You can say, you can say what's new, nomadic. Cool. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> no. There's this three million. So morning, y'all. We just finished filming our um, apartment tour, and now we're about to head out to get something to eat. One of our friends um, is here. She's outside now. She was waiting while we were filming. Mm -hmm. um, so once we finish eating, we're gonna come back and get some work done. I have some editing to do. Um, what you gonna do when we come back up? Some more research um, for our next destination. Mm -hmm. And um, practice my editing on Premiere mm -hmm. Pro. Mm, just have a backup, babe. Yeah. We picking up the camera today because we want to get used to vlogging because we need to vlog on the daily yeah. for our weekly vlogs. But sometimes we just don't pick up the camera because usually we just home working or not doing much. But yeah. We like we'll get we don't want to we don't want to bore y'all with us just sitting yeah. down working from twenty different angles. Yeah, but also we know that people like to see that real life vlog in terms of even just showing what we cooking for breakfast, showing us making coffee, showing us editing. But we tonight we are gonna um, film a travel with us video. So a travel plan with That's us video. Travel with us. <laughs> travel <laughs> plan. Surprise trip and I know you. Travel plan with us video. So in that video, we'll show, and that should be out before this video is out. Not sure yet because we need to. We'll probably vlog for five days and then put out this vlogging week video, mm -hmm. and then going forward after that, we'll start vlogging on Saturdays. So from Saturday to Saturday, and then it'll mm -hmm. go up every Sunday. So mm -hmm. that's our plan. Um, but we're gonna travel. We're gonna plan our travel to our next destination. And we have a lot of planning to do because it's still these times. I don't want to say the word because we don't want YouTube to take down our video talking about it. But mm -hmm. in these crazy times, travel would be a lot different. Um, it's not a big change because we were going to slow travel anyway. Meaning we were going to stay in each country from two to three months mm -hmm. per country. So it's kind of easier to do that during these times. Once we find somewhere that we're gonna go, we'll be stationary there. So it'll be as if we live in that country for a little bit. We don't have to move around often or go to all the tourist destinations quickly because we only have a week there. Like being there for two to three months, it gives us time to um, travel slowly and be able to social distance and not be out and about all the time. So mm -hmm. and, and slow traveling would not only save with expenses, but you become more familiar with the locals and then they in turn open up more to you and mm -hmm. they start to greet you by name, remember your 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 order and different things like that. So it's 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 it has a lot of pros. Yeah, and we experiencing that now being in Tulum. We were in Tulum for two months now and we're leaving at the end of the month. Today is so y'all could have a reference. Today is October fifteenth. We have footage from the last two weeks. That we didn't put in um, the storm footage and when we had friends come over and work mm -hmm. but we'll probably insert those clips now just to get them out there yeah. but we didn't film enough that week for it to be a full vlog so we kind of um what's the word catch all up on what's been happening yeah. so we had a tropical storm um that was gamma uh, gamma uh, the tropical storm was on the weekend which mm -hmm. was gamma right we lost power on Saturday for, yeah. well, I want to say five hours, five, six hours. That's a longer than that. Yeah. That's maybe seven or eight. We, we lost power for most of the day on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then when the power came back on, the water was off. Mm -hmm. So thankfully the water was on for a little bit that night. But the next day on Sunday, the water was off. Yeah. And then our friends, um, they stayed, they stayed, um, they stayed about five minutes away from where we are in an area called La Villita mm -hmm. and their power was off so their internet was off of course and their water went off as well so they came by us to work every day the, on the yeah. first day and then the next day this power is still off and then the next day power is still off so they were by us working for, for three days mm -hmm. and um, they ended up just moving out of the place completely because it seems as if 
nothing was they weren't making any progress yeah so i think they they eventually were out of power for about almost a week so they would come here and work in a day um which was good for us because with the four of us being here and us all being productive we got a lot done that week so that's why it wasn't nothing to vlog because we didn't want to vlog us just sitting to the table working all day you know mm -hmm. what i mean and that's that's basically what it was yeah. i was basically working that whole week it was busy that week because my last day of work was this tuesday so last week was very busy so from 6 30 to 1 1 30 i was doing my nine to five job um and then after that we would work on our channel so last week was very busy um but also then there was another hurricane that was supposed to come to us and that was Hurricane Delta, yeah. right? It never came, but just the preparation of that, and then... Yeah, because it was... It, it started off as a two or three, mm -hmm. and then it went up to a, a four, four yeah. with potentially hit land at a five, but it ended up hitting Cancun at a two, which was good, so yeah. not, much, not much damage. Still some, but not as much as a Category 5 would exactly. have been. Exactly. So, so we were expecting... Thankful for that. We were expecting to get the outskirts of the Category 5, so people were um, driving to Bacalar or driving to Merida from Tulum, because we, we were in the Tulum girl gang, and what do you call y'all on? Uh, just the... Men's... What are they on? They're both WhatsApp groups. It's yeah. one for females and one for males. I was in the female... Men in Tulum or something. And Darian on was like men in Tulum. Ours was girl gang or something like that, mm -hmm. and people were panicking. Um, the food stores were packed, um, but thankfully we were able to get everything we needed. We stocked up on water. I, I got some footage of when, uh, when me and Tyler went out to the food store and to just some other stores in the area to grab a few things. Mm -hmm. So Darren got some footage on his phone while um, we were here just trying to... I was trying to work because I was an accountant and I had to hit deadlines by a certain date. And because we were anticipating losing power, I was working to get, basically on some days, I would do two days worth of work in one day. So it was very busy. But we celebrated me leaving my job. <laughs> so, um, <Done. laughs> I'll, <laughs> Done. so we're now both officially full-time travelers. And we got a lot of questions on Instagram when we posted that. Also follow us on Instagram. I'll put that in right here. Um, but we got a lot of questions on Instagram from people asking us like, how did we become full-time travelers? But as you follow our journey, you'll be able to see how we did what we did. And also, if you go back to our old videos, you'll see how it all started. Like the thought process and us planning this from last year, mm -hmm. downsizing and starting to minimize our expenses. So those are some very helpful tips from back then mm -hmm. and then moving forward we'll put everything into perspective from where i started to where we are now and our mindset and our whole thought process of why we wanted to do it and how we see things playing out yeah so today is the 15th and we're in tulum until the 31st and we have a few videos that we want to film before we leave mm -hmm. and get out so we may film that may be a video we film just like an update on how it started and how we got to this point now because we want to take you all along on the journey and that's why we started filming from the beginning you know <laughs> because usually when you see travel vloggers you see the end and they tell you about the beginning mm -hmm. very briefly but we wanted to actually take you through those steps with us so mm -hmm. we show us giving up our old apartment um donating our stuff um moving into one bedroom that we rented from a friend um, moving out of there and going home because of COVID and home not working out and deciding to move to Tulum and um, Tulum has been really good. We've been here for two weeks, um, two months. Going on three months. Yeah, we were supposed to stay until January, yeah. but once I realized that I wasn't going to be working remotely and I wouldn't need to stay basically in this time zone for it to be feasible for me to continue to work online. Mm -hmm. Once I, I wouldn't be working online, it wouldn't be a need for us to be stationary anymore. Mm -hmm. And Tulum is going to be full in November and December. Meaning things are going to be even more expensive. Mm -hmm. So we figured we could find somewhere that will be cheaper for us to buckle down into and live there for about two to three months. And yeah. we, and we, figured out where, we figured out that place, which 
the announcement will come in the, the next video after this mm -hmm. um, or maybe before this because this may not go up until next week so mm -hmm. who knows if we already announced it we'll put it in the cards now so you could watch that video but we already announced where we'll be going next um, so just planning that out and figuring out where to go where it's open where the cases are not as high where it is safe um, and where we could go as Bahamian travelers mm -hmm. Also, if you guys uh, <laughs> like my hairstyle, we just uploaded um, a video two two, two videos, videos ago, ago. Yeah. about uh, the the routine, the routine mm -hmm. uh, washing and styling. Zanya does my hair and her hair because we're both we're both natural. So if you like this, you can definitely check that out to see how it's done. I say it, it's fairly fairly easy to do, and the products aren't really hard to come by. So. If that interests you, you can look at that. Yeah, I'll and put then, it in the cards too. So yeah, you can watch it after this. Up here or up here or down yeah. there. Or down there. <laughs> no, it's definitely <laughs> one of these. I know. Um, and then too, we recently uploaded that street food uh, video. So you can check that out if you haven't checked it out as yet. But I'd say by the time you guys watch this, we should have out at least two one more. or two more videos yeah. for sure. So our unofficial uploading schedule is tuesdays thursdays and sundays that's what we hold ourselves accountable to well it's official because i changed it and i put it <laughs> i put it in our about section and i changed um a few things in that to just bring you guys into who we are and what our channel will be about and what to expect and what to expect so mm -hmm. i did that yesterday so i put tuesday thursday and sunday so you guys can hold us accountable for that and we have to hold ourselves accountable yeah. moving forward. So, But it'll be a treat because in some places, like for example, when we get to our next stop, it'll be more often mm -hmm. because we want to film our travel day because we still have to kind of figure out the logistics because we will have a layover in... I don't want to give it away. Beep! Mm -hmm. <laughs> But we'll have a layover in a country where... Yeah, we have to switch airports. No, we don't have to switch airports no more. We have to... If we if we travel on two different airlines, we'll have to basically come out and come back in and check in, which we can't do that without quarantining. Mm -hmm. So we kind of have to figure out the logistics. What we may have to do is pay more than we would like to, mm -hmm. to travel on one airline instead of using three different airlines to get where we need to get for it to be cheaper. So that may have to be a sacrifice we need to make to mm -hmm. avoid having to quarantine in our layover spot if we're only going to be laying over for two three hours you know what i mean like mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense being forced to quarantine for 14 days for three hour layover if we could just stay airport side and not have to quarantine and be able to get to our destination safely so but all of that will be in the next video us talking about the travel planning y'all will figure out where we're going to next and why we decided to go there mm -hmm. um but the main reason was tulum is getting is going to be full in november and december more crowded than it is now we're in the city side so it's not crowded but with it becoming full and the beach side is going to be full people are going to start to come over more into the, the city outskirts, yeah. and they're going to find out how affordable it is over here so we already predict it's going to be full um and yeah so we'll just move on to the next place stay there for two to three months very excited about that we're going to be doing um visiting a lot of cities in that place so Stay tuned because there'll be a lot coming. Right now, we're going to head out with Dawn to go and get some food. Well, I didn't ask her yet if she wanted to get some food. But, yeah, we're going to head out, get some food, come back, and start editing. And then Darian will prepare for our planning video that we'll film tonight. So our taxi is here. We're heading out now to go get some food from Deli Fresh, one of our favorite places here, to um, buy local Mexico, <laughs> local Mexican food. Hola Ernesto. Hola, buenas, buenas ¿cómo tardes. Estás? ¿Cómo están? Todo, todo bien. Bien. Sí. Hola, buen día, mi amigo. ¿Qué tal? Buenos días. Hola, bien. Todo bien, ¿y tú? Todo bien. Sí. Repite. Mañana yo voy a Chichen Itza. Ah, tomorrow you're going to Chichen Itza. <laughs> So I came back because we decided to just drop off our um, laundry to the laundromat since we'll be there 
Anyway, it's on the same road as the restaurant we're going to. So I asked the taxi driver to turn back around for us to get it. We like to wrap the wet towels up in a dry towel. Oh, you can put that down too. Cool, yeah. And you can get the 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 flora. It should be in the shower thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we just drop off the um, laundry. We have to pick it up tomorrow at three o'clock. But we're on our way to get food now. Yeah, that's the place we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This salad. Yeah. Great spot.